Hello, my name is Laura Myers, and the material I will be presenting for you today will be developmentally appropriate for children grades kindergarten through about second or third grade based on how you want to present that information and what standards you want to meet. However, this could also be adapted for public library use for a children's story time. The story that I have chosen for today is about the Stinky Cheese Man, and it was written by John Sheska and Lane Smith. So, without further ado, I now present the Stinky Cheese Man. Once upon a time, there was a little old lady and a little old man, and they lived in a little old house. But they were very lonely. And so one day, the little old lady decided to make a little man out of cheese. And she took this stinky cheese and she added bacon for a mouth and two olives for eyes. And she put the little stinky cheese man into the oven. However, when the little old lady opened the oven, she said, Whoo! What is that awful smell? And out jumped the stinky cheese man. And he said, run, 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 as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the stinky cheese man. And he ran out the door. And the little old man said, well, I'm really not that hungry. And the little old lady said, well, I'm really not that lonely. And so neither of them chased him. So the stinky cheese man ran on until he met a cow. And the cow said, What is that awful smell? And the stinky cheese man said, I've outrun a little old lady and a little old man, and I'll outrun you too. I can. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the stinky cheese man. And so the cow took a moment, sniffed the air, and said, I bet someone like you could give someone a stomach ache for two to three days. I think I'll just stick to eating weeds. And so the cow didn't chase the stinky cheese man either. So the stinky cheese man ran and ran until he found a little boy and a little girl in a schoolyard. And the little girl said, Ooh, what is that awful smell? And the stinky cheese man said, I've outrun a little old lady and a little old man and a cow, and I'll outrun you too. I can. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the stinky cheese man. And the little boy said, if we catch him, our teacher might make us eat him. Let's run away. And so the little boy and the little girl didn't chase the stinky cheese man either. By and by, the stinky cheese man ran and ran until he came to a river with no bridge. And the stinky cheese man said, how am I gonna get across this river? It's too far to jump. And if I try to swim, I'll probably fall apart. But there was somebody else watching. A sly old fox just like the type that normally shows up in this type of story. And that fox popped out of the bushes and he said, well, why don't you just hop on my back and I'll swim us across the river? To which the stinky cheese man replied, how do I know you won't eat me? And the sly fox said, Trust me. All right, guys.
raise your hand if you think that the stinky cheese man should trust the fox. All right, raise your hand if you don't think that the stinky cheese man should trust the fox. Hmm, interesting. Well, to continue the story, the stinky cheese man hopped on the fox's back and they took off across the river. And the fox swam and swam. But halfway across the river, the fox said, Ooh, what is that awful, awful smell? And he, oh, oh. and he choked and he gagged and he sneezed. Achoo! And he threw the stinky, stinky cheese man off of his back and into the river. And the stinky cheese man fell apart. The end. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's talk about this a little bit. Okay, I have some questions for you. My first question is this. Raise your hand and tell me, do you think that the fox meant to get rid of the stinky cheese man or was his sneeze an accident? And then you would wait for responses. And then I would say, all right, guys, my other question is, the little old lady made the stinky cheese man because she felt lonely. Raise your hand if you've ever felt lonely. I felt lonely too, guys. So let's talk about some ways that we can help ourselves when we feel lonely. What are some things we can do when we feel sad or upset? And then we would open the floor for discussion again. And then in closing, I would say, all right, guys, I loved all of your feedback and the information that you shared with me. And I want you guys to come and join me in our makerspace because today we're going to create our very own little people. Now, we're not going to use the same materials because whew, we don't have any stinky cheese. Thank goodness, because we already saw how that turned out. But in our Maker Center today, we are going to use our crafting and building materials to engineer our very own friend. And then we're going to use that friend to make our very own fairy tale. And then we would move on and um, continue into our supplemental and extension activities with engineering and writing. Thank you for your time. Have a fantastic day.